Well, hello. <laughs> hey, it's Frank Murphy, and I am live at Sacred Heart Cathedral, where they just wrapped up a piano tech rehearsal of Cavalry Rusticana, the show that's going to be performed on Saturday and Sunday here at the beautiful Sacred Heart Cathedral. During the daytime now, they're rehearsing here at night. The principals are right behind me, so let us let us say hi. Uh, I guess if I start on this end with Alice and Dee Hello, Alice. Hello. She plays Lola. And then, of course, my girlfriend, Catherine Daniel, who Hi. plays uh, Santusa. And then Elizabeth Peterson here is Mama Lucia. Richard Troxel is Turidu. Or Eileen Dan or uh, that, that cheating dog. Yeah, that cheating dog. That's what I like to call him. He's my him. son. Don't called. talk about him like that. Yes. <laughs> and then we've got Eileen Downey, who is the organist, and yeah, also and maestro like Brian Seleski. Everybody! <laughs> and I'm not going to let Scott Bearden get away. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> who Here plays? I come to save the day. Oh, no. Or murder some guy. There you go. A tenor. A tenor. <laughs> All right. So let's say hi to whoever wants to come up here into the light and chat with me about your, your parts in... Come on, let's have a little fun over here. Because I've got this beautiful backdrop. You all sang so beautifully. Now, Madame Lola with this lovely costume. Who is the other? Yeah. Oh, yes, no. these two. Well, see, I went through this. We had the radio interview. Yeah. Richard told and me he's been throwing me under the bus. I am not throwing you under any bus. I'm telling the truth. Just I heard that you were the bus, being the people, other people got thrown under. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There we go. I am the Regina George of this story. So yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, really, it is your love affair that drives the plot because yeah. you're. Yeah. Formerly with Catherine, who plays Santusa, and right. now you're with back with Lola. But the problem is, in the interim, Lola, Lola's... you. I got married. I got married to the richest man I could find. And he's cracking his whip. He's the teamster. Yes. Right. So the story opens, and and you guys are kissing on the steps of the cathedral on Easter. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. I saw it. <laughs> I, I'm like, is there a problem with any of this? The rehearsal part is the best part. Yes. Yeah. Because, yeah, we had to rehearse a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a tough gig, guys. Huh? It's a tough gig. <laughs> now, I know uh, we've seen you both in Knoxville Opera Productions before. Uh, Richard, you were here for... Rodolfo La Boheme, which is why I wasn't the dirty dog. That was a right. great guy. Great guy. And, uh, Allison, I saw you in Mephistopheles as the yes. attractive lovely. Yes, I was Martha. I... Uh lured the devil in and he got more than he bargained for <laughs> but now this but Again, both of those yeah. we were in like a regular theater you yeah we were in mean? tennessee a yeah. beautiful theater a lovely place to perform wonderful acoustics right i'm impressed having watched the entire rehearsal the way they've got it now i know it's my buddies from eddie speaks companies televisions and sounds because i recognize right, them right but they have got you with the real professional yeah. theater mics yeah. can we see that yeah. Which will be covered by other stuff. Tonight. Our Broadway dreams just are coming true. Just, re yes, <laughs> just uh, rehearsal tonight. We just taped it like this. But that's what they use on Broadway, right? Yeah. Yes. That's the real... Like, and, and Maestro always talks about how opera and Broadway and The Little Mermaid, they're all musical theater. They're all the same. They're all play yeah. being told with music. It's mm -hmm. always a story. It's a story being told. Yeah. It's, that's, they're all the same. And I was impressed that, you know, here at the cathedral, who knew a year ago when they opened the cathedral, and they put those Disney World speakers, and you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We, the we know them very world. well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're like popped up all over the, the grounds of the cathedral. So here I am sitting there in what would be the most expensive seat. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> As opposed to the $23 seat, which is not bad. Which at $23 seat is really good because... Yeah. yeah. It's going to be a sunny seat on Saturday. Yes. So I'm deciding where I'm going to sit with my daughter when she, we're here watching this yeah. play on Saturday. But uh, then all of a sudden, you guys come on, and I'm hearing you through these secret speakers that are hidden on the ground. Yeah. And it's coming from everywhere. It sounds great. Oh, good. 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 I mean, yeah. great. Yeah, Not just good. <laughs> yeah, we don't know as much up there doing it. But right. great it sounds totally no, it's great different. Because you have to yeah. sing the same because whether, you're not, whether you have mics right. or not. Right. Right. And yep. you have to also fill the, the air space where there's no speaker right in front. Right. Mm -hmm. And we've talked a bit about the danger if uh, we can't hear ourselves well enough, you know, that leads to pushing or other things like that. Pushing vocally? Yeah. yeah so it's a can... delicate balance for sure. Because mm -hmm. when you sing in a theater, you, get, you gauge the theater, you gauge the acoustic, and you sing accordingly. Yeah. Right. You know I just I look for the exit lights. <laughs> yeah. that's right. I aim for the exit sign. Yeah, the well, that's because <laughs> we aim for making sure that the voice goes all the way to the exit sign. Yeah. Back, and that's what's the challenge here. Oh, very it's cool. going well. Yeah. Thanks, good, Tom. Good. There's our great sound Thank guy right there. Hey, Tom, how are you? 
Well, good. All right, well, let's take a quick spin around and show, because yeah. here's the steps of the cathedral. Most of the action does take place there, but you have some pretty dramatic scenes on this fountain over here. Yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? The fountain is one. Yeah, and then you have, because uh, you've got Mama Lucia's got her, her wine her bar, shop. yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's really cool. and you all go and you kind of she kneels and prays on it, and you all work around. You get yes. into the whole and space. And this, this represents the street. Right okay. Here. So you go on the street, street, and then you go from the street over to the fountain of the Mama Lucia's bar, which is over here. Oh, all right. We took her bar down. Right, because it's it, right. the rehearsal's over for and tonight. The fountain won't be running because otherwise we'd probably get soaked. we'd get soaked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a moisturous fountain. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. very cool. I know you guys have more work to do tonight, so yeah. let me say uh, hey to you guys and move on. And, and Thank grab you so much. Yeah. Uh, Elizabeth and Scott and Catherine yeah. and some of the others, but I really do appreciate Toy Toy Toy. Thank you. Idea. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Oh. I'm not a bad guy. <laughs> Come to the opera Saturday oh, oh, oh. and Sunday. Yes, yeah, Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, 12 o'clock. 524-0795, KnoxvilleOpera.com. Noon on Saturday, 4 p.m. Sunday, yeah. right here. Right. Yeah. There will be food trucks. Oh, and in let, the let, interim, let yeah. me boast on one thing. I was looking you up on um, online, and I found you singing the Meow Mix song on Jimmy Fallon's I'm show. I'm very famous. Oh, my gosh. Jimmy and I get along well. I've been <laughs> on that show quite a few times. Jimmy Fallon from Saugerties, New York. Yeah, Showing off. There, yeah. there he is. It's going really well. <laughs> you, uh, Allison, you've got to look this up. It's hilarious. Just put in Richard Troxell. Jimmy Fallon, <laughs> you'll find it. And he's going, me oh. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right, well, great job, Thanks. great job. Thanks I'll see so you all much. Saturday. Let's go over here and uh, bust into this other high-tech meeting with Dean Anthony, who is yes. over there. Oh, That's nice. Dean, he's the crocodile hunter, and he is giving notes to the cast. So I can't interrupt, but I can maybe hang back a second and see who might be available to come over and chat. If my girlfriend can come over or if uh, Mr. Bearden can come over and give us a quick chat. But meanwhile, they have, uh, for my Catholic friends, they've got some supers. They're called supernumeraries or, or extras who come through dressed as a bishop and other members of the clergy processing in as if it were Easter Sunday. The plot takes place on Easter. Hey, Scotty, can I grab you for uh, two secs? We got some good light right over here. So, all right. Welcome back. It's always good Thank to have you. you in Knoxville. Thank you. How's things going in Arkansas? Good, good. You're teaching, right? Yeah. New experience. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I bet. Uh, I bet they love learning from you. I mean, you've got the pipes. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? And uh, your lovely wife Wendy will be here this weekend. I no, nah, she's not gonna be able to come. Oh, oh, bummer. Well, you have to send her a video or something. Yeah. This well, is... she'll see this one probably. Oh, good, good. All right. So, I was joking earlier when I said you don't need a microphone, but you really don't need a microphone. It's kind of, the sound's better out here than you would think it is with those concrete steps and everything. Yeah. But, but yeah, I don't know, even from the first day we sang out here, yeah. it's the directional part that means the microphone. So right, the, the, the fact that we're turning around sometimes. That's what's cool. Stuff, she doesn't need a microphone either, but yes. it's like. Oh, geez, here we go. Here we go. We have the, the fight. Torido and Alfio. That's not a knife. That's a knife, eh? Yeah, you've got whips and knives in this the opera. Prop master for this. <laughs> yeah, right. I get a whip and I, it's a little, you know. So you are married to Allison's character, Lola. Yeah. And you didn't, you find out that she's been cheating on you with, you know, Richard's character. Turidu, Turidu. yeah. Mm -hmm. He's been and hanging around too much. Poor Santuza, who yeah. was doing fine with with Turidu. But so then, I thought, yeah. But you and get then... jilted because so you can go back to Lola. Right. That's a burn. It is. I it's think a rough day I think all it around. says a lot about his character. Yeah, that's, that's why you call him a tenor. Yeah. I just wanted <laughs> to come and him. say hi. We're going to go into the church now to rehearse the sacred concert. So I'm going to get out of costume and get all into right. street go clothes. Go sang some but more. I, I didn't want to yeah. you know, run by you. I just want to say hi. I know. Well, hi. I talk to you a lot. Yes, thank mm. you. Mm. Like Today I got to post the 15-minute uh, radio yeah. interview that we did. I sent that out to some people. Thank it was you. Great. It really worked out well. And Scott, I always love having you. So I know you, you too, are man. you in the sacred concert? Or I just... am, yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. I'm running off to get changed. All right, well, go, go, go. Don't okay, let go me change hold you. Costume. Mm -hmm. All right. right opera. So do not miss out on this amazing opportunity. The sacred concert is inside the cathedral, and you'll be able to hear uh, songs by Verdi and Muscogny and others, which are all religious from like the Requiem or things like that. That takes about an hour on Saturday at noon and Sunday at four. Then comes the one hour intermission, which would then run, I guess, from 1 to 2 or from uh, 4 to five, 5 to 6 on Sunday. And that allows you to come outside, get something to eat, and enjoy the food trucks. And then you'll find your seat here in these tents. So 
And the forecast, last I checked, looked pretty good. But depending on, uh, for, you know, this is in case it's, the sun is shining, you also get a little bit of shade. And the seats are color-coded. So if you are in the VIP seats and you're way up here close to the action, well, good for you. But even if I know for fact that if I'm sitting in my seat, which is the $49 section, this is where I am. I'm st I'd be standing right here. You can see how close the fountain is and how close the steps are. So even at this mid-range price, you can still get a great view. And I guarantee you'll hear everything because I went around to almost every seat, every section certainly, here, so I could decide where I want to sit. It's general admission within your section. Once you buy your color-coded ticket for both inside the cathedral and outside here on the plaza, you'll just sit in your colored section, whether it be the, the gold or the red or the blue or the pink or the whatever. So that's all happening. Get your tickets. They start at $23 for the cheapest seat. And it's really not that far. I mean, what's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rows? Yeah, there's ten rows here. And then in some of the sections even less. So it's only a very limited number that you'll be able to get. And I want to say thank you to Terrell Oliver for, uh, for that nice comment and for watching the video. You know, some of your friends from the Knoxville Choral Society, Terrell, are in the cast, including, of course, my wife, Jerry. But I met a few of the other KCS singers who are performing as um, opera chorus members here tonight. So while we're here and while we have the opportunity, we can take a run up the steps of Sacred Heart Cathedral. I know, I can tell you that these lines represent the Red Sea, as in Moses crossing the Red Sea. And as you enter the columns in the cathedral, um, progress through history so that you're getting uh, from the olden days to the more modern times. You know, there's a whole brochure that's got all this information in it, and I'm not making it up. But look at this beautiful cathedral. This room is called the Narthex, which you would call a lobby, except that it's in a church, and they've got this special stone that was uh, blessed by the Pope, our bishop, and Cardinal Regali took this exact stone over to Rome and had Pope Francis bless that exact stone. So I just touched the same stone that the Pope touched. And now, I think I have a second while they're warming up. They're not gonna mind because I'm helping promote the arts in Knoxville, right? This is Sacred Heart Cathedral. And I gotta get up to the, I gotta get over here to the, um, the center, there's a spot in, on the floor where it says in Roman numerals 144. And the significance of that, oh, I hear the national anthem apparently, but the significance of this, which I know is backwards on Facebook Live, but that says 144 in Roman numerals, CXLIV. That's how many feet it is straight up to the peak of the dome. So that's the, that's the inside of the dome, and it's 144 feet from the ground up to the, the dome. And uh, Maestro Seleski is giving us some national anthem. You can see that the tabernacle is open, which means that we don't have to genuflect. They've removed the Blessed Sacrament for the purposes of this you know, secular work. Now over here, we have two members of the Knoxville Symphony Orchestra, Concertmaster William Schaub, who's a buddy. He's, hey William, how are you? Oh good, how are you Frank? Good to see you brother. Great to see you, how's life? Uh, good, very well, thank you. I don't want to mess with the violin hands, you know. I get, I'm always afraid to shake hands with, uh, with musicians, because I don't want to like crush them with my super grip. But also, that's Cindy Hicks over there. Um, I don't know, she may not know me, but I know her. This is fun. Maestro Seleski's having a little bit of fun. Hi, Cindy. How are you? I'm Frank Murphy. I go to All Saints, and I've heard you play a million times with the KSO and at All Saints. So my wife, Jerry, knows you, but... Yes, yes. All right, see, there you go. So once you drop Jerry's name, then you're good. But she plays the harp so beautifully, and there is a huge, huge, huge harp solo in Cavalry Rusticana, right? At the Intermezzo? The Intermezzo. I grew up playing that piece. Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. On the little harp. Yeah. Oh, what's yeah, so what's the difference so. between little harp and a big harp? Uh, no pedals on the smaller instruments. The troubadour, the troubadour harp was was like the largest. Of what they call and that's what this is, the troubadour harp. No, that oh. was that was a harp that I made back then. Oh, so what's this one called? Um, this is called a pedal harp or an orchestral harp. Concert. Orchestral harp. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. And you, I see you like having to lug this from your car to the theater sometimes. <laughs> it's we always know it's you. 
because yeah, of the shape of the case. To, yeah, see the big oven mitt. <laughs> the big oven mitt. <laughs> well, beautiful. And also, Cindy has a solo in the Sacred Music concert, as does William Schaub. So that is going to be very exciting if you're here. Make sure you get here on time. They have... Um, I think the, the instructions say you have to be in your seat by 11.45, 11.50 on Saturday, and then it would be 3.45, 3.50 on Sunday for the Sacred Music Concert. And again, you'll sit somewhere here in the cathedral, depending on your color-coded ticket, and the performance will take place up near where the sanctuary is. But again, they're, you're using it as a concert space, which is common here at Sacred Heart Cathedral. They do a lot of uh, musical performances. And this is a statue of Pope St. John Paul II, who was Pope when the Diocese of Knoxville was established. Uh, when was that? Oh, I should know this. It was like 30-some years ago. And this stole is one that John Paul wore. I was, they said it was his favorite. And after he died, uh, one of his buddies, Cardinal Zewicz of Poland, brought it here to Knoxville and donated it to this beautiful cathedral. So. There's all sorts of other Catholic things I can tell you about this room, but I know that uh, time is uh, a, race, a waste of it. I, I want to say hi to Maestro Celeste. Hi, good evening, everyone. This is gorgeous. I mean, what a place to do a show. It's an honor to be in here, isn't it? Yeah. Really? I mean, you can feel it. And yes. they put a lot of effort into making this not only a sacred space, but a place where the music will resound. Yes, absolutely. And they, they really spend extra, extra money in dulling down that usual church echo mm -hmm. uh, so that you can actually hear the individual voices and yeah. the instruments well. So it is a particularly great place to come hear music. I we came hope here, you come. I came here for the groundbreaking, you know, with Cardinal Dolan oh, and all great. the guys. And I remember they're talking about the acoustics before they even dug the hole. Right. They had that in mind. They were going to build Absolutely. a place that would well, be... Well, uh, Bishop Sticker is a stickler for, <laughs> for music truth. and the way it sounds. Absolutely. Excellent. Well, uh, toy toy to you. The rehearsal you. sounded great. I know you're going to do the yes. other part now. But... We're going to do the sacred music now. We just finished the opera outside and it's, it's very exciting. So tickets start as low as $23. You can That's get them right. at KnoxvilleOpera.com or on, That's right. uh, call 524-0795 extension 1. Yes, and it, it's really for everybody. You know, uh, this is an immersive experience. It's oh, a yeah. once-in-a-lifetime thing. It's not like going to a theater and, uh, you know, having a usual theatrical experience. This is one you'll never have any place else because it you are the people of Sicily yes. in the opera. And that that's, doesn't happen every day. Now, you know this, Maestro. I worked in box office back at Wolf Trap when I was just in college, and I, we always learned the 10th row center was where you want to sit, right? So I counted. There's like only 10 rows out there. You've got those spread That's, out in such right, a fashion that right. everybody's in the first 10 rows. That's really genius. Right. right. The the audience is in a U shape around the opera, so you're never more than 10 rows away from the entire opera happening right in your face. So this is a bargain, a great opportunity. Well, I, I hope everyone comes and enjoys it. Yeah. Saturday, May 4th at noon and Sunday, May 5th at Four. So we can either say, may the fourth be with you, like the Star Wars nerds may do. May the fourth be with you. Or we you. can say, Cinco de Cuatro, like the Arrested Development nerds call it. Or we can just call it exactly. the fourth of May exactly. and the fifth of May. That's it. <laughs> well, we really look forward to doing this, you know, for the people of Knoxville. Beautiful. Please come down and enjoy it with us. I know. Oh, William Shub's getting ready to go. There I'm going to have to cut off before he starts. <laughs> That's part of the rules. I'm going to, uh, <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm Frank Murphy, live for Classic Hits 93.1 WNOX. And if you think that I'm actually finished, I could really probably talk for another half hour if you want to dare me to. But I won't make you sit through that. Thanks a lot for watching. Please do share this with your friends and tell them, spread the word about Knoxville Opera and Classic Hits 93.1 WNOX.